Aida Refugee Camp. Do you know anything about refugees or refugee Tell camps? us a little bit about refugee camps. That's my job, to tell you something about the refugee camp. This refugee camp, back to 1948. What's happened in 1948? They had a war. Exactly, we had a war. And the people who used to live in the villages, they left their villages because of the war. They are like some villages they used to know. <coughs> like bombed by Israel or whatever. And so they left their villages. Those people, they became a refugee. This is 1948. In 1948, how many, uh, what's the number of the refugees at that time? 850,000 refugees. Most of them, they went east, west, south, north. There used to be no borders. A lot of them, they went to Jordan, and Syria, and Lebanon. A lot of refugees. And it's been 60 or 63 years now. It's been 63 years. We call it Anakba. Anakba, what happened to them? Those people, they have a right to return back to their villages. It's been 62 years. For example, this refugee camp, again, one of the three refugee camps we have here in Bethlehem, one of the 19 we have in West Bank, one of the 27, that's in include Gaza, one of the 59, that's include the 10 in Jordan, 10 in Syria, and 12 in Lebanon. The number of the refugees these days, five to seven million, all over the world. Those refugees, they have a right to return back to their village. They are guests here, they are refugees in their country. So again, this is one of the three refugee camps we have here in Bethlehem. They started with 800 people, now the, the, the population of that refugee camp is 5,000. 60% under 16 years old, that means a lot of kids. If you walk anywhere in that refugee camp, you wouldn't find a playground or anything. So a lot of people they are expecting to see like a tent when you talk about refugees and refugee camp, you know. People they are expecting to see a tent. That was 1948 until 1957. What happened in 1957? We had a bad winter. We had like snowstorm. A lot of people died, especially in the Haitian refugee camp, the second one. So the Red Cross and the United Nations, watch out. So the Red Cross and the United Nations they start helping those refugees. <coughs> they, they got them the tents and they got them the, they built small rooms. Because all that's supposed to be a timberous, you know, until they get back to their village. But uh, they didn't have it. And one of the, I think, yeah, the United Nations, they decided to continue to helping those refugees. So who does all the services in, inside the refugee camps? The United Nations, the honor room. So everything UN inside. They have a UN school, they have a medical center, and they have, uh, also they have a center for kids, but not below the UN, below the organization, So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna visit that refugee camp, we're gonna walk around, and I'm gonna show you some of the bullet marks, because this refugee camp during the second intifada got attacked, and 27 people got killed from that refugee camp, most of them. So let's go and see the...